Welcome to the Debtors Manager add-on module video. Debtors Manager is an add-on module that we have built out to help businesses collect on overdue invoices. The module helps to optimize the collection process and provides visibility for the business owner of each outstanding invoice, along with reasons for it being overdue and expected payment date. The module provides a set of tools to the business owner to customize his own collection workflow and also smart automation has been incorporated into this feature to ensure that time is spent running the business and not driving the software. Let's jump in and take a look at what the Debtors Manager module is all about. I'm going to start off by showing you what has changed on the customer master files. Firstly, we have added two checkboxes over here, send outstanding invoice reminders and send overdue invoice reminders. The email address specified over here on the main part of the master file determines which communications the main contact will receive based on these two checkbox settings. Should you wish to exclude a customer completely from Debtors Manager Communications, simply select this option here, Exclude from Debtors Manager. And this will ensure that that customer does not receive any Debtors Manager related communication. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that we have incorporated some smart automation and one of those features that some of our Pastel partner users may be familiar with is the ability to place an invoice on hold. Now, with the Debtors Manager workflow, which I will show you later on in this video, the system can automatically place a customer on hold, which will ensure no new invoices can be processed to that customer. Should you wish to remove the on hold flag, from a customer, you can do that over here, provided that the user has user rights for customer editing user access. The last change I would like to show you on the customer master file is on the additional contacts screen over here. Should there be more than one contact in the company that you are following up with for outstanding invoices, you can set them up over here as additional contacts. This gives you the flexibility to add more than one person from another company that you need to follow up with regards to outstanding or overdue invoices. You can then further select whether that additional contact should be selected for outstanding or overdue invoices. An outstanding invoice action code screen has been added into Debtors Manager, letting you attach action codes to any invoice for follow-up. As an example, you could use the action code credit note to be processed over here to remind yourself that you need to process a credit note for a customer. Note that you have to set up one default action code and that usually is your most common used code. You can set the default here and you also have the flexibility to set up your own action codes to suit your business's needs. Should you wish to exclude a specific invoice from a debtors manager communication, simply select in dispute, exclude from communication. And that will ensure that that customer does not receive communication for that specific invoice.
Debtors Manager has a list of non-payment reasons already pre-set up for immediate use. Alternatively, you could simply go in and customize your very own non-payment definitions to use the non-payment reasons and action codes that I've just shown you. Let's load up customers, transactions, and customer tax invoices. Click over here. And on screen, you can capture any notes you or your collections team may need to record for a specific debtor. Enter the non-payment reason and a note. The non-payment reason, promise to pay. And the next action, which is going to be in this particular case, anticipated payment note. We will then simply click on save that the information is saved on this customer's history for the next follow-up. The engine of Debtors Manager is a series of smart workflows per customer that lets you define at which stage of an invoice you would like to distribute communications. The user can tailor the workflow to distribute these communications more or less frequently. Let's take a look at the workflow. Under Invoices Issued, you can click on the plus sign to add a workflow action. Over there, this field over here is completely editable and you can change the number of days to suit your business requirements. Click on a checkbox to add a communication option to an action or limit the creation of new invoices of a customer by selecting place customer account on hold. You can define what each email communication will look like in the various stages of the workflow by editing the communication template. Click on the pencil to edit the communication template. And over here, you may want to consider a more stern business message as the invoice progresses more and more overdue. We also provide you with placeholders. Choose Insert placeholder to insert system generated fields in your customized email. Now that we have defined our outstanding invoices workflow, the next step is to go into the communications run, and this must be run manually by the user when their transactions have been updated. Over here, select a workflow actions reach since date. And what you will see on screen now is all the invoices that fall into the various workflow buckets. So we've got nothing under invoices issued, but we've got quite a few under invoices become overdue. Here you can opt to exclude from communications run and once you're happy with all that detail, you can go down and click on send all communications. And the system will then send out an email as per your template that you have set up. Just a tip, if multiple of these workflow actions were reached in the selected date range, Sage Accounting will always distribute only the last communication on the Outstanding Invoices workflow. Let's now take a look at the Invoices Manager. The Invoices Manager gives you a bird's eye view of your customers with their respective invoices, days overdue, anticipated payment date, the outstanding balance, when the next reminder is, and the expected amount that you're going to receive from that customer. And then on the Actions tab, you can view the history of communication between yourself and the customer. 
as well as sending a follow-up email. Future updates to Debtors Manager include the ability to distribute the communications automatically in an upcoming release, whereby the user will be able to set up the dis distribution times per day. A new communication option is being worked on, giving you the ability to distribute communication via SMS. So you will then have email and SMS communication and finally, we are investigating the use of WhatsApp for Business in the Debtors Manager module. We will also incorporate a nice dashboard, giving you an overview of the entire Debtors Manager reminder process where you can see what's outstanding and when, and if there are any actions to be completed, you'll get a holistic view from that dashboard.